So I'm going to be creating some really cute decor using these mugs from the Dollar Tree. And one of these mugs have like the grooves in them. I just wanted to show you that the Dollar Tree mugs, um, coffee mugs are shaped different. And this one is just round. Now for this first DIY, I seen this, I believe something like this on a website called Flora. I'm not sure of the name, but I thought this was so cute. So what it was, was a really pretty yellow um, coffee mug bouquet. And I just thought it was adorable. And so I am going in with this yellow um, acrylic paint from Arteza. And I'm just giving it one good coat. I'm not going to paint the inside. And now that I have it painted. Now with this paint, it will chip off of these cups if you don't cover it with my pot so I wanted to put a smiley face on it so you can freehand and draw but I wanted mine to look decent because I'm not the best drawer so I went to my Cricut Joy and printed out this smiley face but I'm just going to use the eyes and the mouth I'm not going to use the circle the face and I'm just placing my eyes on the mug and then I'll place my mouth and like i say if you got good penmanship and if you can draw the easiest thing to do is just draw on your little smiley face so after i get it placed on i am going to cover this with some mod podge because as i mentioned earlier you don't want anything to to chip and eventually um this paint probably will chip off if you do not protect it so once i get everything lined up i'm just going to go over it using some mod podge giving it one good coat and i just think this is so adorable i absolutely love mug decor and i think it's perfect for the springtime now in today's video these mugs are going to be um, some of them will be um, year round and this one I think is like spring or summer, but they all came out so cute. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this foam and I did pick this foam up from the Dollar Tree. I just want to place this in the inside of the mug so I can add my florals. So I have these florals here from Walmart. They all were 97 cent and I did cut off a piece of foam and I'm just going to add some hot glue to the bottom and place it right down in the cup. Now I am going to cut my florals off the stem so that I can arrange them in the mug um, the way I like. Now the Dollar Tree does have some pretty florals out but Walmart florals are cheaper and uh, some of them um, do have a better um, quality um, of a look to them. So I thought these yellow ones were really pretty. And I'm just going to blend the different styles that I have in together, just giving it like an even distribution. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. I did. I was babysitting this weekend. He left today and I get to go to sleep tonight, but he was definitely a joy. Um, it was a joy having him over. He's just a sweetheart. So as you can see, I'm just blending in my different picks just making sure I kind of um, just have them in evenly and that is going to be it for this I just think this is so adorable and it's just cute these are actually really cute to give for a gift but I'm going to be styling some of these in my um, um, coffee bar area and I just added it to one of the little cubes that I have in there and I absolutely love this this is just so so happy Now the next one is definitely my favorite. I have a mug and I also picked up one of the white plates and I'm gonna go in with this soft pink um, acrylic paint from Apple Barrel and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna give this two coats um, on the mug and the plate so I can get just a, a darker color. Not too dark, but I'm just gonna give it two coats. So I'm gonna let it dry in between each coat and I really love how this turned out. This piece I think would be really great for centerpieces if you're having a tea party or just the style in your home. I absolutely love it. Now what you see me doing is adding some fix-all glue and some hot glue to the bottom of the mug and I'm going to secure it to the plate. I was a little bit out of frame adding the glue. Now what I'm going to do is protect this paint and I'm just going to go over it using... Um, some Mod Podge and I'm going to go in heavy um, around this piece. I don't want any of the paint to chip. Now I am going to be using some more florals and I did pick those up from the Dollar Tree as well. 
Um, what I like about this piece, not the Dollar Tree, I picked these flowers up from Walmart as well. Sorry about that. I'm just hot gluing a piece of foam um, down in a cup. And what I was going to say is what I love about this is you can paint these any color you want to fit your decor. I just thought this was really pretty. So I'm cutting all of my picks down so I can quickly start adding them into the foam and these picks from Walmart are just so pretty and I love the greenery that's attached to these picks because they look really nice so I'm just going to go in um, placing them you know around just trying to get a nice full look now I am going to pull some of those picks off of the stems because i am going to be gluing a few of these pieces down to the plate i thought that was so pretty and i really would like to create one of these with that sage color so that i can style it on my coffee table in my tv room but i really love how this one came out it is so pretty so i'm just going around adding a few pieces um and then i'm going to add a few um leaves around the side too and then just kind of fluff everything out and i just absolutely love this one um it is really really pretty so pick up some coffee mugs from the dollar tree because you can create some really cute home decor with them Now for the next one, I really do like this one. This one I made really rustic, but I do do really like this one. So I'm starting off with some jute cord and I'm adding some hot glue around the rim because I want to secure that first row down really good so that I could go in easily and start wrapping it around this mug. So I'm just going to continue adding some hot glue um, around the top part until I get that first row of um, cord secured down wrapping this um, coffee mug goes by really fast it slows down when you get to the handle part and I'll show you that so once you get that first row attached and then I'm going to add a second line of hot glue you can sort of just start um, quickly going around um, the coffee mug but as I get to the handle it, it's pretty simple but when you get to the handle you just have to start um, stringing the cord through the handle because I'm going to wrap the handle with the jute cord after I finish wrapping the cup and you'll see what I mean as you can see I'm just going around and you want to add hot glue here and there and just sort of push the jute cord up and now that I'm by the handle I'm just going to add a line of hot glue and then I'm going to go under the handle and then I'm kind of I'm going to cross over as you can see right here because I want to try to fill in that little opening gap and then the remaining of it you can fill it in when you start wrapping the handle and you'll see that shortly as well so I'm just going to continue um, going through the handle and now that I'm down at the bottom, once I get to the end of the handle, you just repeat that step and just go through the handle until you get to the bottom, wrap it, and then you're going to tack it down with some hot glue and cut off the excess. So now it's really simple and quick to wrap the handle. I'm just gonna add some hot glue, um, tack down the cord, and just start stringing it around until I have it covered. And as you can see, I just cut the I cut the cord off of that larger row so that I can just push the um, cord through easily. And then once I have that done, this is how it looks. Now I'm going to cover this with some Mod Podge. I'm going to go in um, with a heavy coat because I want to harden all of this jute cord. So I'm going in with the heavy coat to seal this in because I want this to be part of the mug so once I get that done and it dries I'm going to now go over it with some antique wax because I do want this cord to be darker I wanted to give this a rustic look and I love this I love that now it's easy to paint it because the jute cord is now it has hardened and I absolutely love this and you can go over this and paint this 
any color but i wanted to go in with this antique wax to give it like this rustic distress um look and i absolutely love this i am definitely going to be creating another one of these and so i'm just going over it with the antique wax brushing it on and i'm going to go over the handle and everything because i thought this would look really great if i darken it up a little bit and once it dries it gave it this really rustic distressed look and i am not going to put any foam or anything in this i absolutely love how it looked i'm just going to take some boxwood picks that i picked up from walmart <laughs> and i'm just going to fold the stem i'm not even going to cut the stem down because that way i can switch out the greenery or i can use this for something else so i'm just going to fold the stem and i'm just going to place them in the mug and that is going to be it i really do like this mug and i am definitely going to be recreating another one of these now this one is not geared towards the spring but this is definitely something i can keep in my coffee bar area year round So for this next DIY, I'm going to use one of the round mugs. And I have one of these napkins here from the Dollar Tree. Um, this napkin says Farm Fresh Flowers. And it has this cute little truck on there that has the license plates that say Hello Spring. I'm just going to cut out the truck image. I thought it was so cute. Um, and I thought this would be cute as a decorative mug for my coffee bar area for the spring. Now, you can like decoupage or add an image close to the bottom of the cup and it will still be functional. You just have to be careful when it comes to cleaning the cup. But this one I'm just using for um, the core purposes around my coffee bar area to, to make it look more springy. I wanted to add some cute little items for the spring and I thought this would be perfect because I thought this truck was adorable. So I just cut um, cut a square out and now I'm just going to pull off the ply and then start cutting the image out. And you can also um, take that farm fresh flowers and you can decoupage that on another mug and that would be cute too. But I really just wanted to use this truck. I, I really love the color of it and I love that the plates on one of the license plates on this truck said hello spring i thought that was so adorable so after i i'm um, getting cut out and i'm just cutting it i'm cutting it down because i don't need to use all of the napkin it's just be extra napkin to decoupage on it to my project so i just since i just sort of want the image i'm just cutting it down as close as i can um so that it will it will just be mostly the image and then once I get that cut out I am going to take some Mod Podge and then I'm just going to spread it over my mug and I'm just going first over the area where I am going to add the image and then I'm just going to place the napkin right on top and I'm just going to gently um, tap it down and once I get it tapped down I'm going to add some extra glue on the top of the image i'm just going to make sure that i'm really careful when i'm adding the glue because i do not want to tear the napkin and mess up my image so i'm gonna go tap over it lightly sort of like in a pressing motion and then i'm gonna let that coat dry and then i am gonna go over that image with a second coat i just want to make sure that this is really secured now it has dried and it actually fine like this but i'm just going to go over it one more time and give it one more coat and i'm just going over the part where the image is i'm not going to go over the entire cup and that is going to be it after this dries i just styled it um, by my coffee bar area and i just think it is so cute Now this coffee mug, I did pick this one up from Walmart, 
believe it was a dollar and 17 cent i know it was less than two dollars the dollar tree do sell um black coffee mugs but i wanted to use this one and i just went to my cricut joy and i cut out of the imaging this cute little phrase that, that says love in a mug now i want to make sure that this is functional so um i thought this matte color in the shape of this mug was really cute and all i'm doing is pressing the image um, down using some transfer tape and that is going to be it for this one i just wanted something really cute to style but also something that i can use and i definitely can use this when it's time to clean it i'll just have to be careful when i clean it so i want damage um the transfer and I absolutely love this. Now this next mug, I thought it was so cute with these lemons on it that I found in the Dollar Tree and I just wanted to add something to this. So I went to my Cricut Joy again and I um, cut out the phrase enjoy every sip and I'm just going to transfer this right over on top of the lemons I thought this was just adorable so I already transferred over enjoy and now I'm just finding the placement for every sip I'm going to transfer that over and this cup can be um, functional as well and I absolutely love this enjoy every sip Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.